Speaking of published, uh, this week the uh, the Republican Party in Washington State, the state just north of us, you know, Seattle and Tacoma and Olympia and all that, um, they had their convention last week. And the Republican base, uh, this is from the Seattle Times, uh, I'll just read it. The Republican base, it turns out, is now opposed to democracy. Their words, not mine. After the candidates left, the convention's delegates got down to crafting a party platform. This one called for restrictions on voting. The delegates called for an end to all mail-in voting. Now, let me just add, you know, just like Washington State is one of five states that are all mail-in voting. I just got, you know, my ballot is arriving today. I, I got the email from the post office uh, showing that my ballot is arriving today. The, the voter guide, this kind of TV guide booklet, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's fairly thick this time. It's uh, three quarters or half an inch thick, um, you know, that explains all the, you know, what's going on and who the races are and or who, you know, who are in all the races and what they are. Um, you know, all the details of that. Uh, it's, it's just so convenient to vote by mail. And it, what it does is it increases voter response. We have among the highest voter, voter turnout rates in the country. Why? Because, hey, they mail it to you. You fill it out. You sit at your coffee, you know, your, your dining room table, your coffee table, and, you know, with your laptop and just kind of go through all the obscure races. You know, who's this guy who's running for city council? What's this judge, you know? Um, you know, what does this uh, uh, ballot measure mean? You know, who's endorsing it and who's not. You can look it up online. You can look at the voter guide and vote, you know, intelligently, which I, you know, I always found a challenge, you know, when we lived in Michigan or New Hampshire or Ver Vermont or Washington, D.C., and I'd have to go in and vote. And there would be these things on the ballot that I had no idea what they were. Who is this judge? I never heard of him. Or what does this ballot measure really mean? Or, you know, who is this, this uh, woman who's running for city council? Well, with mail-in ballots, you can actually do your homework, which is just great. So anyhow, the Republican Party in Washington State said they wanted to end that. Instead, uh, back to the piece by Seattle Times, instead we would have one day only in-person election with photo ID and paper ballots and no use of tabulating machines or digital scanners to count them. But that's just the beginning. Then they wanted to uh, overturn the 17th Amendment. And this is now officially part of the Republican Party's platform in Washington State. Quote, uh, this is from one of the people who stood up in, in, on behalf of this. Quote, we are devolving into a democracy because congressmen and senators are elected by the same pool. This is from one of the Republican delegates at the convention. We do not want to be a democracy, she said. They then kicked it up a notch. They passed a resolution calling on people to stop using the word democracy. Quote, we encourage Republicans to substitute the words republic and republicanism where previously they have used the word democracy. Every time the word democracy is used favorably, it serves to promote the principles of the Democratic Party, the principles of which we ardently oppose. We oppose legislation which makes our nation more democratic in nature. One of the delegates uh, standing in favor of this uh, resolution said, the same people who select the baboons in Olympia are the ones selecting your senators. In other words, we're Republicans. We hate democracy. This is, I mean, you know, it's echoes of yesterday. I had a guy call in and, and he was talking about the Democrat Party, which is, you know, one of my favorite. <laughs> you know, make, you want to make me crazy, call in and talk about the Democrat Party. And, you know, I pointed out to him that the history of that phrase, Democrat Party, because there is no Democrat Party in the United States. The, the party is called the Democratic Party. It was named by Thomas Jefferson as the Democratic Republican Party. And then in the 1820s, they dropped the word Republican from the name, and it just became the Democratic Party. And it's been, and it's, it's our oldest political party. Our oldest continuing, continuously in existence political party. The Republicans didn't come along until 1856. This was in, in, you know, the 1790s. And so I, you know, I pointed out to him that where that Democrat Party came from was, was uh, Joe McCarthy, tail gunner Joe, back in 1956, 
telling Republicans, don't ever call the Democratic Party the Democratic Party. It sounds too democratic. People like democratic. People like democracy. So instead, call it, and this is a verbatim quote from Joe McCarthy, call it the Democrat Party with an emphasis on the rat. And that's exactly what Republicans have been doing ever since 1956. It's what they do on Fox so-called news all day long. It's the Democrat Party. It's the Democrat. You know, it's quack, quack, quack. You can always tell who's listening to right-wing talk radio, right-wing hate radio, or watching Fox so-called news. Because they refer to the Democrats as the, Democrat, the Democratic Party as the Democrat Party. So, anyway, just, just wanted to lay those two stories out for you. Um, I've got a hunter and a farmer's world alert on the other side of this break, and then I'll pick up your calls. So stay tuned. We've got a lot to talk about. There's an awful lot going on. Trump's trial is paused today because Judge Mayor Sean uh, has his uh, mental health uh, hearing. And apparently, Steve Bannon is in court today about his scam, uh, fundraising scam to build the wall. We'll see how that goes.